Hello, Pastor Brian here. Just recently, uh, we've been looking at uh, Jesus' seven statements, utterances that he made from the cross as he, as he died in agony on that cross, as he hung there for approximately six hours, bearing the sin of the world, bearing our sinfulness upon himself and paying the price for that on our behalf. We see, as we've been looking at those statements, each one seems to be a declaration of an aspect of, of his unconditional love for each one of us. And also, what he was accomplishing right then and there as he hung on the cross. <clears throat> we come to the, the fifth of those seven statements this time. And we find it in uh, John chapter 19 at verse 28. It goes like this. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished and that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst, I'm thirsty. Now a vessel full of sour wine was sitting there and they filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on hyssop and put it to his mouth. It's interesting that fifth statement, I thirst or I am thirsty. You know, that's what happens. We understand when a person was crucified, uh, they would become extremely dehydrated and they would get very, very thirsty in, at, at, as they hung there in agony. But once again, how significant it was for Jesus to make that statement from the cross. Who is this one that cries out at this point, I'm thirsty? This is the one who not long before that had been in the temple and cried out to the people there in John chapter seven, verse 37 and 38, if anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scriptures has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. <laughs> in Revelation chapter 21, right at the end of Revelation, it's Jesus that is speaking in verse six when he says, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and I will give to the one who thirsts from the spring of the water of life without cost. He is the very source himself of that living water. And he says it, it's, it's descriptive of, what, of the Holy Spirit coming into that person's life and providing that, that true water of life. And, and it's absolutely free. He is the only one who can truly quench that inner thirst of the soul. The point is, he took that spiritual condition, that spiritual condition that we've lived under, he took it upon himself and bore the fullness of it in our place. You know, dry symbolizes emptiness. It symbolizes lifelessness. It's interesting that in Zechariah chapter 9, verse 11, the Lord says, I will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. You know, Jesus in Matthew chapter 12 talks about casting a demonic spirit out of spirit out of a person, and that demonic spirit, he says, uh, passes through waterless places, looking for somewhere else to inhabit. You know, it reminds me here of what Jesus, what we are told in 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter uh, 5, verse 21. It says, for he made him, Jesus, God, he made him, Jesus, who knew no sin to be sin for us, took that whole, that all that sinfulness upon himself, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. He might do that for us. That's why that living water 
is without cost it, because the price for it has been paid in full by Jesus himself at Calvary. You know, when you come to the cross, you come to Christ who died on the cross for you on that basis, and you believe in him and what he accomplished at Calvary on your behalf, and you receive him as Lord and Savior of your life, he is the source of that living water, that spring of living water bubbling up unto eternal life. That's what faith in him and receiving him means. As he said there in John chapter 7, verse 38, he who believes in me, as the scripture said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Wow. And doesn't that speak of just refreshment? Oh, the much needed inner refreshment of new life with Jesus Christ. You know what, brethren? That's what we have been given through faith in Jesus Christ. Hey, that emptiness, that dryness, that, that deep inner thirst, he took and bore it on your behalf. He took it away from you and he's given you himself for life, for that, that spring of living water to abide in you. You know what I would say? Brothers and sisters, draw from that well, that spring daily. Soak it in. You know, turn your heart to Jesus and, and just trust in him in all things. Even now, even today, let the Holy Spirit do his thing in your life by that just trusting him. Lord, I can't do this. I can't deal with this. I can't accomplish that. But you're the Lord, and you can. And so I'm going to put my trust in you, Lord. And I'm just going to enjoy the living water of life today through your spirit, Lord. Wow, what, what, what a privilege we have as we walk through a world in which people are literally dying of thirst spiritually. Their souls are just dry as can be. You have the living water. So enjoy, enjoy what you've been given in Jesus Christ, even today, even now. What a blessing. Hey, Jesus said, I thirst. And in saying that, he's saying, I'm taking that away, that deep inner thirst. I'm taking it away from you. I'm putting it on myself that you might have his life, the living water. Wow. So I'll talk to you later. God bless your day. Amen. My Savior, my Jesus.